Hey everyone, welcome to Soko. This world is like an extremely massive, like 250 plus level thing. This is by Muritsubo, who has created these worlds that you see in uh, in here. So I really, really trust this creator to make good levels. And this is based all around a thing called Soko. Sokoban is basically the name for um, regular box pushing. And so, this pack is all about one-by-one one boxes. Now, first <coughs> few levels are actually kind of familiar. Um, I believe I want to get, get that box in this position. Um, but yeah. Okay. Apparently a challenge level comes in. Okay. This... Can you get that to the side? No. Okay, seriously. This is like... Quite possibly derivative off that one puzzle script level. This is unbelievable to me that I'm taking a long time on it. Um, but yeah, uh, this is a, a really big level pack with a lot of ideas, and it's not just going to be just one by one boxes in para box format. <laughs> okay, but we have to figure this out before I embarrass myself a little more. Hmm. It seems like I want to get something to the to this edge. Oh, here we go. Okay. So I never know when to put up the timer for these easy, uh, easier puzzles. So, yeah, yep. In many ways, this- okay, look, I can do this, okay. In many ways, this pack is actually going to resemble the regular Parabox format quite a bit, because this is considered the intro section. Okay, that- that, that cannot work. You know, I wonder if there, this is ever going to share some similarities to <laughs> Jelly is Sticky's um, Sokoban only puzzles. There you go. There's that. Hey. So this is version 1.6. I'm not sure. I probably said that already. Um, okay. Another one of these. Let's... So, the difference... This is actually multibon. Multibon is what people call it when you're able to push more than one block at once, and that's just the default mode of Parabox. But that is not the default rule in Sokoban, which is... Some trivia there. Hmm. Oh, is this is this right? Hmm. Top spot isn't that great right now. Very close, by the way. Ugh, we're not. Hmm. It'd be nice to like do this, but with in a case where both boxes are actually usable. Like that's not usable, unfortunately. Hmm. Oh, this one the challenge, huh? So, one trick in Sokoban is that you can't get things stuck to walls, that's usually a bad idea. Um, in normal Sokoban, there's also a thing that I call square stuck. If four things, uh, if anything ever goes in a square, you can't move it. Now, this is not true in Multibon, but it is true in regular Sokoban. And by the way, the custom level pack weighted is uh, actually more similar to regular Sokoban because they can't- they have a certain property where the boxes can't be multi-pushed. Um, gosh, I'm sucking. So another trick idea is just, like, keep track of what spaces are, like, like, serve as good drop-off points. For example, that is a good drop-off point. Um, however, we still need to get this box out, which is a huge problem. Hmm. Like, as an- as an- like, some sort of nook like that. Hmm. How about this? Oh, here we go. Jeez, that took way too long. Okay, I'm sorry everyone, but here we go. So, this one... These are already on their target, so there's a bit of a troll there. Any moves where you temporarily move things off target is... Okay, this is another one. We have multi bonds, so don't forget about that. Nope, that's not very good. Top left is a nook. Okay, there we go. And a challenge which is not directly connected to the main line. Luckily, that was a fast... Okay, another one. Nook seems to be up here, but... I shouldn't see if the regular soak of bonding is not very high. No? Hmm... What's the ending look like? Somewhere where, like, the blocks can be like that, 
but it's not a problem somehow. That's really strange. What is the setup? I only seem to get two, and this is the only odd spot. Wow. What am I looking at? How about the odd spots up here? Can we do something with that? Okay, first of all, this actually wants to be the one that goes farthest out. Still the regular Sokoban trick at the beginning, though. Hmm. I really don't know what's happening here. Maybe some sort of multibond pushing is required to do this thing, because, uh... Ah, here we go. Yeah, there was no way I was going to do that without the multibond action. So... Through that. Nope. I feel like I want to get them off their edges a little bit first. Top one is trapped, by the way. Can't have that. Here we go. Okay. And we have a challenge. We got four in the gamma shape. Seems like these are our nooks here. One gets stuck at the bottom as well. Hmm. So the four are in a pretty good spot at the beginning. It's just not here anymore. And what about the that one? That looks really bad. Wait, but that's a multibond though. So can I not just stick them and then have a... No, that doesn't seem like it's good. That sucks. Hmm. See, it's almost like one of them had to be left behind here, although, actually, it's kind of a trick that some of these are, like, locked on there. See, that's not good right now, because we're gonna have something stuck to the side, and, and plus, we need to get that out of the way, too. Hmm. What's the bottom doing like it's kind of a does not read the designer's mind well not really but trying to predict the designer's mind trick where it's right here instead okay we're gonna have things off stay off their targets for now can't get it through here though it's not very good can go down here and win, but I can't seem to get through this side, which is a problem. Hold on. Let's try getting that bottom like this. Then we can do this, and here we go. Cool. So, that's that. That's the intro section. Um, and there's enter. So if you see the Parabox resemblance, um... To the regular... Whoops, that's not the point where you put the timer up, idiot. Okay, so... We're gonna do this because I don't want to clip hang on freaking taking 8 minutes of the enter world. How, I, mean, I, mean, I mean on the intro world. But, yeah. Here we are. And in this, we're just gonna be doing dealing with 1x1 one one boxes. We need to move that to the other... Do we? Just gonna do this, but now it's... It acts like it's a solid, which is not good. Oh, right, you just do- okay, cool. So, that is that. And the one. Probably wouldn't, will not put up the timer for these, because what's the point? We can try to get it stuck here, or just switch around their order. Yeah, switching around their order is the key there. So we can split it. Here we go. So, you actually- if you want to see more stuff with one by one boxes, you should probably check out the world called Hub, um, which uh, which is regular levels are one by one boxes, but apparently this had so much depth in it that you know it's ju it's just gonna use one by one boxes here anyway, um, as it's as to make an entire custom world out of it. But I, I can't move this down. There's something wrong with that. Hmm. Well, can actually still win this way, but we need to get 
that box in here. Okay, there, there it is. Alright, whatever this is gonna be even faster than intro. You can make some pretty ridiculous puzzles with regular Sokoban. Also, putting stuff inside itself is really bad. You can never get it out, so wait. What is wrong with that? Hmm. No, you can you, I can fix that. I can fix that. Hold on. There we go. That was actually like a transfer motion there. Now what? Well, we don't want that. We want... No, but not inside it either. What the heck? How about down and then back? Okay. By the way, I have like, um, in faster animations. That's why some of the animations skip. I need to move that past it, right? Okay, that was easy. Another one is... Well, that looks easy. No, it isn't. So it's, I feel like I want to switch those around, but I'm not sure. And again, um, with this setup... Oh, well, that's interesting, but ultimately not good. With this setup, um, unless there are more targets than blocks, we can never have this block eat that. Like, that's there's no way. Even though that's a thing, though, can't seem to find the solve. It'd be nice to be able to move this down and then this up. Um, damn. This traps the, the things, so that's bad. Oh, lol. Here we are. Here we are. Okay. Challenge. I'm always doing the challenges. So, blocks. One down here. That's not going to work, though. We need to... What? I can't visualize this well enough, can I? Like, this will not work. I can't... I need to push against the wall in order to actually enter it, so... Mm. Doesn't look good. And if I do this, I lock it to the wall. So it's pretty bad, too. Nice, re nice rewind. Cool. It would almost be nice to have this block up top because that can actually go down in position. Now, we still need... Okay, here we go. Go down in position. That's, that's that challenge, supposedly. Here we go. We got two of these. This, reminds, this is very reminiscent of a hub puzzle. I don't know... Like, the creator has shown to have duplicated puzzles before. So I wouldn't be that surprised if some were, but... Oh, it's kind of silly to do puzzles you've previously done. You can't enter from there. I can't try this, though, but... Um... I would want to do that earlier, but no! Hmm. I can do this, though. That's the best and safest choice. There we go. Challenge right here. You similar? We are going to get this. This seems too easy and therefore not going to work. Um, looks like a regular box is not the one going there. It's something more like that, except we want them out. And then this way, but I might need to swap that because that doesn't look so good. Hmm. Or this goes le no, no, no. Hold on. Let's swatch. Let's switch them around. Uh huh. Well, that that didn't go very well, did it? Hmm. This way, maybe. But that's stuck to the other edge, though. Hmm. Not good. Not having good luck here. If you don't immediately trap that to the other side, it doesn't look like it's successful, though. How about the trick goes here or something? Well, that wasn't the... No, I cannot win. I can't win in that spot. It needs to be the thing. 
And another thing. Well, I mean, that's pretty good looking. Okay, <laughs> next one. This is what? Almost... No, it is completely all browns. Colors don't actually have significant meaning here. Am I gonna get... No, I'm not. There we go. And we just transfer through everything. There's still one more challenge puzzle. And let's go. Three more. That brown one is stuck to the bottom no matter what. And we need things to not get stuck to the... To this. So, honestly, getting stuck to the right wall is pretty good here. Let's get that pushed this way. Cannot get something else stuck, which... Oh, that really stinks. Wait. Okay, that works, I believe. No. No. Ugh. What did I go... Where did I go wrong? Does this work? No. No, no, yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes. Wait. No, no. Here, here, here. Okay, okay. Nice. And there we go. So, next rule's eat. It's, it's, it's not eat. It's not eat. Well, <laughs> okay. So, hopefully, this has given you a sense of what this world is about. Um, but I am not going to be spending, um, like, hours on the first video. I'm just going to split it here, and then we can enjoy Stack later, the first cool world. Um, uh, so stay tuned. Goodbye.